All right, you guys ready for our headline debate tonight? Hippies versus hipsters. You guys still with me? All right, I'm very excited to have uh, these guys on the show. On the side of hippies, he's been on the Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson. Put your hands together for Hippie Man, everybody! And representing hipsters, Mr. Bobby Crane! All right, going first on the side of hippies, Hippie Man. Wow, thank you very much, thank you. Ah, uh, thanks. You know, I am. I am a hippie, and that's for sure. And here's the thing about hippies. Hippies dress like they just came out of Goodwill, and hipsters pay $300 to dress like they just came out of Goodwill. I wasn't even going to look at my notes, and after one joke, I'm fucking looking at my clipboard, because that's the advantage of being a hippie, too, is I've done so much damage to my brain that I don't remember shit. So. Even when something bad happens to me, it's like Groundhog's Day, and I just wake up and start the whole fucking day over again, you know? So I am putting that down in the prone column of being a hippie. All right. Okay. Here's a question I have about hipsters. Oh, thank you very much. There's a weird time delay going on, but that shit happens all the time with me, man. Because I am in 1969, and the hipsters are fucking, what is this, 2011? That's where the hipsters are at. And here's the question. I wasn't going to bring this up, but since it came up, I'm bringing it up, man. <laughs> thank you, sir. I'm glad you're with me, because everybody else is like, we are folk for hipsters, because this fucking hippie doesn't know what the hell he's saying. But here's what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. We hipsters, hippies, hippies have Woodstock. That's the iconic concert, you know, with Don't Eat the Brown Acid and all that. What kind of hipster concerts are there? I mean, what's the quote from a hipster con concert, you know? Visit our merch table. <laughs> It took a hell of a long time to get there, but that fucking punchline was good, man. I mean, I, I'm sorry, but I was just like, wow, I got really quiet there. But anyway, so here's my question too about hipsters. Okay, now I'm back to questioning the hipsters because this is a debate, and I am the Rick Perry of, of hippies, I think. I don't know. I, I just give shots to grade school people for no apparent reason. You know, that's, that's what he did, but you guys don't fucking follow the news, and that's another thing that pisses me off about hipsters, man. They don't watch the news, so. I'm writing my ass off of Rick Perry giving, you know, weird shot jokes. And you guys are like, who the fuck is Rick Perry? And why does he have a thing about needles? So that's cool. I understand that. But that's not really, I guess that's a point against me more than anything else. So fuck it. I am voting for hipsters at this point, too. But if nothing else, I will sway my vote back around. And then all I can say to you guys is you're on your own. But OK, here's what I want to say. i got to get to the hipsters thing. I'm running out of time. Oh, fuck, I still got time. I got time. All right, good. Here's what I'm saying about the hipsters. What's with the hats? Why do hipsters need to wear hats? Is it just me? I mean, there's a lot of fucking hipsters who wear hats, and apparently it is me, so I'll go, okay, fuck the hats. <laughs> <laughs> My whole joke was it looks like Frank Sinatra met Scooby-Doo. And I, well, I can tell I am in a room full of younger people, and I'm the hippie guy, so <laughs> that's a double one, okay. All right, hippies don't play kickball, <laughs> you know? We don't play kickball, bingo, or geeks who drink. Because when I was growing up, geeks who drank ended up in a clock tower with a fucking rifle, you know? So... <laughs> the chart, I'll tell you that. The next time I debate somebody on hippies and shit. Okay, hippies only pierce one ear. <laughs> you know, think about that shit. I am saving money like crazy. Um, I'm jewelry. All right, I'm gonna try this joke, and I don't know, man, I'm really on thin ice, but gay hipsters, do they just get a gauge in their right ear? Okay, all right. I'm not even sure what a gauge is. I had some coaching on that. That's cool. Thank you. All right. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, I am. Fuck, I'm on some thin ice tonight. That's cool. Hippie chicks are cooler than hipster chicks. I'm sorry, but they are. Because I have seen plenty of hippie chicks with good burthen hips, and I've yet to see one hipster chick with some good burthen hips. So. And the last thing I want to say, and I hate to close my portion on this, but hipster babies are lame, man. I'm sorry, but you know, 
if I see a hipster couple with a baby, I'm like, fuck, they're one step away from Modern Family or something. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's it for me. It feels pretty damn good. This shirt, bought it off an Asian man's back for five dollars on Colfax. This vest, two dollars at the Goodwill in Lakewood. You gotta go to the suburbs to get a gem like this, cause the one on South Broadway has already been picked clean by all the posers in Baker. These jeans, $60 in my local skate shop because you can't get a good fit and cut at the ARC. You guys are probably wondering, are those glasses even real? But here's a better question. Why do you care? Can I smoke in here? I mean, it's, it's, it's the least you could do to let me smoke, considering this shitty bar doesn't even serve PBR. <laughs> so here's my day. Woke up, walked down to my local coffee shop, Illegal Grounds, you've probably never heard of it. Ordered my Americano and the barista gave me a latte instead. I said, suck my dick, ass man. That's a quote from Squid and the Whale. It's a movie by this director, Noah Baumbach. You've probably never heard of him. I got home and realized I got my diploma from Amherst. It's a small liberal arts school. You've probably never heard of it. After that, I checked my favorite blog on pitchfork.com. It's the premier indie music website. You've probably never heard of it. They said the new Rapture album was kind of boring. They're a post-punk disco band out of New York City on the DFA label. You've probably never heard of them. Music just sucks sometimes, you know? Modest Mouse is pretty good until Isaac Brock hit puberty. I was gonna listen to some Animal Collective, but then I realized it wasn't 2007. Psh. I listen to some waves, but it's like everybody's just jumping on the surf rock bandwagon these days. Maybe you guys can help me out. What are some of you guys' favorite bands, huh? What are, what are, your, what are you guys' favorite bands? Yeah, they stole their sound from Pearl Jam. What's, uh, what's, what's some other cool music that you guys like? Yeah, they used to practice in my cousin's basement. Uh, uh, another band, anybody, anybody. Oh my God, my little sister rocks harder than them. I don't know about you guys, but as soon as a band has more Facebook friends than me, I stop listening. I forgot I was supposed to make fun of hippies during this. Um, let me guess, you're from Boulder? <laughs> Far out, dude. I'll tell you, this is probably, I, I haven't been in too many debates, but this is one of the fucking weirder ones ever, man. Um, I'm pretty much not on Bobby's radar, so that's cool, because I'm feeling confident about the debate, you know? And so that said, I thought, how can I spend this time with the rebuttal, because I'm feeling pretty fucking good. So I thought I'd try a couple of jokes, you know, just to see where I'm at, and you know, we'll see what happens. But I did, I wrote a riddle or two, 
Like, and I, I try to do, you know, in the theme of this uh, debate, but how many hipsters does it take to change a light bulb? Yeah. I don't know. I have never been with a group of hip hipsters when a fucking light burn out. So. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should have planned a rebuttal. Uh, I also wanted to mention uh, an announcement. The Grapes of Wrath is playing next door at the Finnish Theater. So, fucking A. I, I'm in that too. I, I am in that too. It's a one person show. And uh, you know, I start off with some grapefruits in my pants, and then the fucking drought hits, and boom, it shrink down to grapes, and I'm like, my cock is now the grapes are at. And so, I, that's a spoiler alert, that's in the third act, but I wanted to give you guys a heads up, all right? So just remember that if you go see me next door at the grapes are at. It fucking starts right after this, surprisingly enough. We're gonna open up the theater and a special matinee performance at midnight. But uh, next up, just in case you're wondering, DJ Rex is playing on August 31st, so, I'm fucking traveling back a little ways in time to go see DJ Rex, because he's that good. Wow, is he here tonight? Did I piss him off? I don't know what happened. Okay, that's cool. You guys aren't into the calendar, but August 31st already fucking passed, so. Okay, that's, that's my time. Thank you very much. Oh my God, his arguments were so last season. Uh, I like my gears how I like my kittens. Fixed. <laughs> Hippies like their hair how they like their music taste. Dreadful. I like my kisses how I like my new wave cinema. French. Hippies fuck how they walk the streets without protection. I like my clothes how I like my identity without labels. Hippies like their weed how they like their pussy. Stank. I like my bars how I like my man-made satellites. Sputnik. <laughs> and hippies. <laughs> and hippies. Hippies like their t-shirts, how they like their unwanted babies. Tied and died. <laughs> That's how they close the debate, killing an infant and doing it poorly with grammar as well. <laughs> died, tied, and died. <laughs> okay. All right, guys, uh, you guys get to choose the winner here. If you're on the side of hippies, give it up for Hippie Man, everybody. <laughs> and if you're too cool for, too cool for school like Bobby Grant and hipsters, give it up for Bobby, guys. Bobby Crane and Hipsters taking that debate. Thank you guys so much. Big round of applause for everybody you've seen tonight. It's a lot of fun. Really a great show. Uh, we do this third Sunday of every month, so come back uh, for the next show. It's in October. Once again, a lot of thanks to Vine Street Pub. You guys have a great night. Be good.